called Human Dimension. And it's a course that runs through the entire 36 months of our school. And I'm one of the uh, small group preceptors, so I'm really fortunate to be very closely connected to this course. Uh, students begin to learn about community. So we assign small groups of eight students to a community like West New York, like Patterson, like Hackensack. They will we'll arrange for them to meet with community leaders in those communities. We'll arrange for them to get introduced to community agencies and social service agencies. And we will be giving them lectures on topics such as health literacy and um, the role of the social worker and, and other things that kind of balances out I would say whether it's traditional medical education. And after several months of that, we do, through a carefully select selection process, pair them up to students, pairs of students, with an individual or a family. They obviously cannot provide medical advice, they're not practicing doctors, but they can provide health advice. And individuals in this course will help the students learn how to take a medical history. The students basically ask them, tell me how I can learn, help me learn how to be a better doctor. So it's a wonderful back and forth. We assign students to work on a project with their patient. It might be to help them become more literate so they can do a telemedicine visit with their own doctor. And the students bring a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, and it's a wonderful pairing. And as a faculty member of the school, I meet with the students every several weeks and we talk about how their project is going, how their interactions are going, and they learn from each other as well as learning from that patient. For example, that if they don't ask about whether the family has resources to clean a rug, that child in that household keeps coming back to the hospital with an asthma attack. So they will then know when they start their hospital rotations and they see a child with asthma, they've got to ask about the rugs in the home and the ability to keep the rugs clean and things like that. So they do get that out of hospital experience that makes them more effective working with us in our hospitals. Uh, we, we watch work hours, we have uh, the students or the residents work shifts, so we pay careful attention to their well-being because we know it impacts patient outcomes, patient care. Mental health is first and foremost on our minds with our students. We do things as simple as starting a lot of our teaching sessions with a meditation moment. We help them stay present. We do a lot of, I would say, the usual things. We have yoga sessions, we have meditation sessions, we have a lot of counselors. We make mental health services very accessible. We, uh, we talk to them about this as a long journey and not to get too many highs and lows and stay steady. And, and, and nonetheless, I think we still worry about them. And, um, so we pay a lot of attention to it. We're always thinking, what more can we do?